Hey there, it's good to be back after that little break last week. Welcome to Rebel City Roundup, where I'll be giving you my take on the premier news and happenings in and around Cork this week. I put out new videos like this every Sunday, so if this is something you're interested in, please do consider subscribing. As you can see on the side of your screen, we have yet another full agenda today. So without further ado, let's get going. Our first story today um, covers something that really didn't see much coverage in the media. Just last Sunday, Ireland's first ever conference specifically for autistic participants took place at the Rochestown Park Hotel. It was organized by Evelyn Welton of school autism support startup Confident Kids and attracted uh, speakers from Ireland, the UK, mainland Europe and even the United States. All in all, the conference was attended by a total of 334 people and was run pretty much exclusively by volunteers, including yours truly. Artists and business owners from the autistic community showcased their work at the event, which basically took over the entire Rochester Park Hotel Conference Center. And since this was a conference specifically for autistic people, lights were kept low and a specific quiet room was set up for people to just get away from it all and de-stress. The lighting in particular played a bit of havoc with my cameras, but hey, what can you do? All in all, this conference really was a milestone event, and that's coming from me as a non-autistic person. And you can definitely expect more videos on the topic, both on this channel and on a dedicated channel for the conference pretty soon. Were you at the conference? Are you affected by this type of topic? Be sure to put it in the comment section below. Cork's newest bridge, a pedestrian and cyclist link between Merchant's Key and Patrick's Key, where a lot of long-distance buses depart from, is going to be named after Mary Elms. Mary who, you may ask? Well, Mary Elms was instrumental in helping over 200 children escape from Vichy, France during World War II. In the process, she actually managed to get captured herself and spent several months in a notorious Gestapo prison outside of Paris. However, that didn't deter her. After she left, she basically went right back to work helping people escape um, from Nazi-occupied France. Some people have started referring to her as the Irish Oscar Schindler. And after her death, she was recognized as a righteous among the nations um, by Yad Vashem, the Israeli Holocaust Memorial Center. Personally, given the incessant rise of anti-Semitism around the globe, the fact that Ireland's head of state at the time that Mary Elms was active actually expressed his condolences to Germany after Hitler had died, and the fact that Cork's last remaining synagogue had to shut down a couple of years ago due to a shrinking congregation, this is really pretty much the best choice they could have made. Did you have a say in the naming choice involved with the bridge? What was your favorite option? Be sure to put it in the comment section below. This past Thursday, the Irish Navy detained two fishing vessels from Northern Ireland who had been caught fishing illegally in Irish waters. The boats were stopped in Dundalk Bay by the patrol boat L.E. Orla and the crews subsequently pleaded guilty to illegal fishing charges. On Friday, their boats were released and they returned to Northern Ireland that same day. Now, you might expect this to be an open and shut case. However, in these times of Brexit, nothing is really quite straightforward. The DUP, um, which is currently holding Theresa May's government in Westminster to ransom, is raising an almighty stink about the issue, accusing Ireland of aggression and intimidation. Just to put these claims of intimidation into perspective, the ship in question, Ellie Orla, is a 62 meter long inshore patrol boat with only one major gun. I've been on her sister ship. It really isn't big. 
And incidentally, those ships um, used to be part of the Royal Navy. Speaking of which, following the incident on Thursday, HMS St. Albans, a Royal Navy frigate, entered Northern Irish water close to where the incident took place. Later that day, they dropped anchor off Belfast and entered the port of Belfast on Friday morning. Of course, Belfast is currently a British city and the Royal Navy has every right to deploy a ship there. But given the incident that happened um, on Thursday, you would have to be extremely naive to not see a connection between those two events. What's your take on the whole fishing fiasco? Did the Irish Navy go too far? Are the Brits overreacting? Be sure to put it in the comment section below. And for our final story of the week, we delve into my favorite three-letter category, WTF. It appears as if humans aren't the only um, creatures to um, gain weight over the Christmas period. Just this past week, um, rescue forces in Germany had to rescue a rather rotund rodent from a rather sticky situation. Try saying that three times fast. What's this all about, you ask? Well... A rather plump rat had gotten stuck in a manhole cover in the southern German city of Bensheim, near where my parents used to live. And I swear it wasn't me and I had nothing to do with that. Anyway, um, after a bit of work, um, rescuers were able to free the rodent from its rather unpleasant situation and it scampered right back into the sewer. Sky News quoted rescuer Andreas Steinbach as saying that the rat looked back as if to say thanks and yes, I need to go on the diet. On that note, maybe I should opt for a salad tomorrow instead of a chili? What's your take on the story? Be sure to put it in the comment section below. But don't get stuck there. And that's the way it is this week. Thank you very much for watching. In case you didn't accidentally get stuck here and really want to return to this channel, be sure to click the subscribe button and also the little notification bell. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and feel free to share the video around. If you have any feedback, comments or criticism on any of the stories I covered or the format in general, be sure to put it in the comment section below. And also make sure to check the video description for sources for all these stories and also for my social media links. Once again, thank you very, very much for watching. And until next time, take care and see you around.